students at Colorado School of Mines earned some big honors at a hackathon. Wait until you see what they did. In only 24 hours, they created a device that allows somebody who is paralyzed to move their wheelchair just by detecting brain activity. Mackenzie O'Keefe met up with the team to talk about their invention and how it works. Mackenzie. Good morning, Alan. Yeah, this group of students are just so intelligent. I'm not going to lie, I had to ask them to show me this quite a few times because it was just so unbelievable what they pieced together. Students had 24 hours, like you mentioned, and they only had the materials here at this competition. So we'll give you a look at the device they came up with. At first glance, it may look like just a toy, but it's actually a piece of technology unlike anything else that these students created from scratch. We set out with a blank sheet of paper and went and designed each of our components. The team was given 24 hours during a hackathon to create a software device using only the materials provided. It's definitely a marathon. Uh, it's, it's a roller coaster going up and down and you know, struggling with things and finding solutions. Their goal was to design technology that actually solved a problem. In this case, they decided to help people who are paralyzed. The brain still works, the body doesn't, and tech can kind of fill that gap and make them able to move. This device allows someone who is paralyzed to use their brain to move their wheelchair. And if I want to go backwards. The team used a 3D printer to create a headset that holds emitters and detectors that monitors brain activity. These Infrared lights sort of shoot a signal into your forehead. That links up to a computer where they developed the code for translating that data into movement. That shows where we're getting signals from Pete's brain. And of course, built the wheelchair to prove it all worked. It's a device they're proud of and one that could maybe one day help others. It was just a really great feeling to be able to accomplish something like that in just 24 hours. Now that was just the prototype that they made. They said they had a friend in the healthcare industry who said this was an issue and their goal with all of this really was to help out the community in some way or another. Each of these students has their own concentration in engineers, so they all work together to make this happen. We're live here in Golden, Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. It's just amazing. I mean, truly jaw-dropping, right? I, that's great stuff. Good job.